Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create header and footer section in the Elementor website using a free plugin. So if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, you can create header and footer section using a free plugin. The name of the plugin is Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. This plugin has a free as well as premium version. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to install and use the ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin and what is the difference between the free and the premium plugin. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now we are going to use the same plugin and we are going to create header and footer section in the Elementor website and we are going to use only the free version of the plugin, not the premium version. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using Elementor on this website. Let me show you the plugins. This is the free Elementor plugin and this is the plugin Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. This is the free version of the plugin. If you do not have it installed, you can go to add plugin and here search for Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. And this is the plugin. You can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 2 million plus WordPress websites. And this plugin was formerly known as Elementor header and footer builder. Now it is known as ultimate announce for Elementor. So I have already installed and activated this plugin. Let's go to appearance and let me show you the theme I'm using hello theme. If I go to pages, I have only home page created and one sample page created. And if I go to post, there is one default demo post. Now when you install the ultimate announce for Elementor plugin, in the left hand panel, you will see this option UAE. Click on it and you will be on the dashboard of this plugin. And these are the free widgets that you can use. If I go to widgets here, you will see all the widgets which are available for the free version. And these widgets are available for the pro version. Here you will see an option header and footer builder. Click on it. And on this website, we do not have any header and footer created. So I'm going to click on add new. And we are going to create header section. So let's name it as header. You can create multiple header layouts and you can use them on different sections of your website. In this case, we are going to use only one header layout. And here you will see an option type of template. Click on the drop down. And there are four different options header, before footer, footer, and custom block. So I'm going to select header, display on the entire website. So I want to use this header section on the entire Elementor website. As I said earlier, you can create multiple header layouts and you can use them on different sections of the website. For example, for the blog post, you can create different layouts. If you are using e-commerce website, then for the e-commerce section, you can use a different layout. In this case, I'm going to select entire website. If you want to exclude this header to be shown from any page, you can create exclusion rule. If I click on it, you will see an option to create a rule. So let's say I do not want to show this layout on all posts, then this layout will not be shown on the blog post. All right, so I'm going to close it. User role, click on drop down and select all. So you will see different user roles. You can use this header for the logged in users or logged out users, administrator, editor, author. In this case, I'm going to select all. So this header will be shown to all the users. Enable layout for Elementor Canvas template. There are different templates in Elementor. Elementor Canvas does not show header or footer section. However, if you want to show the header and footer on the Elementor Canvas template, then you can check this box. So I'm going to keep it as it is and click on publish and click on edit with Elementor. So now we are going to create the actual layout for the header section. Let's close this one. And here you can add different elements for the header section. Now I'm going to create a top bar and that will be like two columns. So this is going to be a top bar and let's change the background color for this top bar. Let's try this one. All right. So this is the background color and I want padding let's say zero margin zero. And in this column, I want to add icon list icon list let's drag it and drop it here let's make it horizontal or inline and here let's say i want to show email address so i'm going to show info at domain.com so this is just a email address 
change the icon and the second one will be let's say map address let's say the address let's change the icon to map and in the third one let's say i want to show phone number all right so we have got three different icon lists let's go to style settings and change the icon color let's make it white so this is just a demo website and i do not have any color setup so i'm going to add this one as global color and let's change the icon size to 16 pixel go to text change the text color to white and this is how it will look now in the second column i want to add let's say social icons so let's search for social icons drag and drop it here go to style settings and the primary color we are going to use the same color here this is going to be the primary color this will match the background color let's add this as a global color all right so this is the social icon let's change the size and let's align them to right all right so this is the top bar for the header and below that i want to add three column sections so let's create let's add new section here three columns and in the left hand column i'm going to add image that will be the logo of the website so i'm going to upload one logo let's try this one so this is the logo and in the right hand column i want to add a button so i'm going to drag and drop the button here let's name it as call now and change the background color to the global color that's the blue color change it to right let's change the column width let's make it 20 percent this one also make it 20 percent and this will be 60 percent all right let's select this column and let's vertical align to the center this one also vertical align to center and in the middle column we are going to add navigation menu so click on the plus sign and search for menu if you are not using elementor pro plugin then you won't be able to access this nav menu which is the elementor pro widget but in ultimate arounds for elementor you will get this widget for free so i'm going to drag and drop it here all right so there are no menus on your website so let's go to the dashboard and create a new menu here let's go to appearance go to menus and we are going to create a new menu let's name it as main menu and click on create menu we have home page and sample page so i'm going to add both the pages here and let's add one custom link let's name it as contact we will have a custom link there click on save menu so we have created this menu now we will need to refresh this page so i'm going to publish it and let's refresh this page now you will see the menu is there we have got main menu here you can make it button or you can use the default layout let's center align it layout let's go to layout center align it and you will see the basic settings for this menu okay this is going to be a responsive one and let's go to style settings and change the color let's change the text color to blue and hover will be green so you will see the changes here now you will need to play with the settings and customize the layout according to your requirement this is just a sample layout that i have created if i want to add border at the bottom i'm going to select this entire section go to advance go to style settings go to border let's make it solid and for the bottom we are going to add a border so you will see a border at the bottom all right so we have logo here then we have menu and this is the call button here you can add the link to the phone number so whenever someone clicks on it it is going to dial the phone number from the mobile devices this is how the header will look let's click on publish now go to the home page and let's see how does this work so you will see the new header is showing on the home page so at the top we have the top bar 
where we have the icon list social icons then we have logo menu and call button similarly you can create a footer section so let's exit from here and let's go to ultimate add-ons go to header and footer builder click on add new and let's name it as footer from the type of template select footer where you want to show i want to show it on the entire website you can also add exclusion rule user roles i'm going to select all click on publish and go to edit with elementor now we are going to create the footer section let's say i want to create three columns for the footer section so let's use this one you can play with the settings let's make it 30 pixel uh, 30 percent then 40 percent and this one is 30 percent all right let's add some padding at the top and at the bottom and let's change the background color let's use this one here i want to add the logo again so i'm going to browse the logo and below that i want to add some text so i'm going to add text so this is some information about your business in the footer let's change the color or right, let's change it to left align now in the middle section i want to add quick links so let's add header and let's name it as quick links make it h3 now whichever elements you want to add in the footer section you can add them i'm just creating three columns here let's add menu again so we are going to add menu in the footer also it will be main menu and the alignment will be vertical so now this is how it will look let's change the color this time we are going to change it to white color so this is a menu in the third column let's copy this one and let's paste it here and let's name it as contact details or contact now here i'm going to add icon list again and again you can add phone number email address and the location All right let's go to style settings and change the color so these are the contact details let's click on plus sign let's say i want to add social icons again so i can drag them and and so i can drag it and drop it here again do the same thing you can change the color for the facebook go to facebook and enter your facebook link here go to twitter enter your twitter link similarly go to youtube and enter your youtube link if you want to add more items click on add item and select the icon from here whichever icon you want let's say i want to add instagram so select instagram icon enter the link and change the color below that i want to add copyright section so i'm going to select another column let's change the color let's use black color as a background the padding will be, power, will be let's say five pixel let's add heading let's change the padding here let's make it paragraph center align it and let's add your copyright text here or style settings let's add some more padding here all right so this is the footer in the bottom we have the copyright text if you want you can also make it two column in the left hand column you can add copyright text in the right hand column you can add links to privacy policy a disclaimer terms and conditions so you can customize the footer section according to your requirement this is just a sample layout click on publish and let's go to the page refresh it and you will see the footer here let's edit this page and let's add some space on the home page now let's view the home page so this is the header section and this is the footer section so it is very easy to create header and footer section on the elementor website if you are not using Elementor Pro plugin, then you can use the free ultimate add-ons for Elementor plugin and create header and footer session for your website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. 
Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.